first year wasn't that demanding. It, it seemed a, um, a, a pretty manageable pace. Um, and that, that was okay. Uh, once we get into the second year, the demands are a bit high, obviously it moves up a level. Um, trying to get into the library and get literature um, was a little bit harder, a bit more awkward to give time for that. What, I've, what I used to find is if I could purchase a couple of books, core books from the internet, and I'd use those for the main, main of the study, and having the internet at home is a godsend. The coursework, I am not going to lie, it is very hard, but you've just got to manage your time. Family, home, work, no time for social, but that doesn't matter because you can pick all those pieces back up after you finish your course because to me, I've started this course and I'm going to give it 100%, so it's hard, but you've just got to manage your time. And not only that, but like I said, I hadn't studied for quite a while. I utilised a lot of people my personal tutor, my, the study skills advisors, the clinical skills advisors, placement managers, tutorial support. I was one of these students that just went everywhere until I was happy to put pen to paper. When we started and we were given our assignment titles and guidelines, it did feel a little bit daunting at the beginning because it's so many big pieces of work, whereas from school it was smaller pieces and we handed them in as we went along. Um, and it was a little bit scary at the beginning, but obviously we had module leaders and we were directed to who to go to, um, so that was okay. It was scary, really, like getting my assignments and stuff. I was I was scared. I'm not gonna I'm gonna be honest. I was, but um, I had to get I had to get um, familiar with um, the library as well, and getting books from the library. But um, it's all right because I prioritised my work, and you know, I went to see. Um, my named markers for my assignments and they helped me a lot as well in understanding the assignment. Uh, for instance I have eight months to do an assignment which means I have I should do this much by this date. By, by having all these uh, sub deadlines it's, it's uh, really it got me more motivated to do it rather than have getting the approach of going at it all at once saying oh I've got eight months to do all of this. I find it a lot easier, a lot less daunting. I've really enjoyed the academic stimulus from, from having a number of years without, without that interaction. Um, so I have really enjoyed it. The difficulty has been fitting it in, um, and I think that's something that people are in danger of underestimating. You're doing a full-time job, and you're doing a degree course as well. Um, and with the shift work as well, trying to find time to really invest in your academic work is hard and you have to be really quite disciplined and I wasn't the most disciplined of, person, of people so to start off um, really to plan out when assignments were due, when coursework was due and, and just try and keep on track all the way through. Big culture shock, computers, uh, as I said using pebble pad, emails, all that type of thing but the support's there for you again um, we have got sessions that if you're not au okay fait with using computers and all, most people are nowadays, even I've got a, a gist of how to use it, but when it comes to looking what sites to look at for researching, that type of thing, it's, and that's where my fellow peers helped me as well, because I could say, oh, I haven't got a clear way to do this. And we helped each other through it, but the support's there from the university as well. I do work with sort of my own personal timetable, you know, these are the units in the day, this is what I'm going to do in these units doesn't always go according to plan, nothing ever does. I had um, done an open university course um, in the year between applying and starting my course to try and get into um, academia again, but I took advantage of the Centre for Academic Writing that Coventry have. When we had our first assignment, I did a draft of what I was doing and, and got an appointment with them, and they were brilliant. They went through it, they helped give me some tips, gave me some pointers really as to what academic writing was about, and that was absolutely fantastic. When I knew there was outcomes to be achieved and assignments to be achieved, and I was still on placement, time management, um, I did find it a struggle. But then if I was on an early shift, I wouldn't come home. I'd go off to the university for three hours, and that would be, say, three days out of the five days. So then I knew I had to spend 15 hours on my coursework, and then I could... It was about grafting, working hard and playing hard. And that was the balance for me. It was hard 
um, because it's all about time management and self-management. I find that if I stay at home, the phone goes or somebody's just popping around for a cup of tea or a meal. And I think if I go out of the house and go to the university and allocate myself three, four hours to study, I'm more focused. Therefore, I spend a lot of the time out of the house studying because I feel I can achieve more. One of the hardest things I've found is that I'm too much of a perfectionist now. Um, the workload itself was hard because especially when you're on placement you're doing a full-time job and then you have to come home and do your outcomes for your placement so you're doing a full-time job plus overtime if you like that's that's quite hard and assignment writing I've never written academically before I've not got a degree I've not I'm only educated to our level standards so it was hard to get into that way of thinking um, but I, I, do, I would say to anybody, you know, you do, it does get easier and you, you learn as you go along. It might take a, a little bit longer because of the age <laughs> thing, but it's, I'm really enjoying it.